This is a really great question and I'll give you an example of mythology where the name of something came before the story and the story was invented to suit the name. I'm talking about the Pleiades, the Seven Sisters constellation. Now the word for Pleiades came more from the Greek word that meant to sail, so the name came first. The story of the Seven Sisters came afterwards and their mother's name was Pleione and that's why they're called the Pleiades. The Seven Sisters were the daughters of the Titan Atlas who holds up the heavens. Now I have to read out their names because there's seven of them. Maya, Electra, Tegeti, Alcyone, Keleano, Steropi and Merope. That was hard. Now they all had various affairs with various different gods and had some more divine children. The most upsetting affair was Orion. Orion's belt, Orion the constellation, he was a hunter and he desired the Pleiades and he even assaulted Merope. To escape this fate however, Zeus first turned them all into doves and then turned them all into stars. Orion, however, was also turned into a constellation and all across the sky he chases the Pleiades. There they are, right up here in the corner. Another version of the myth of why they turned into stars was because that they had lost some of their siblings. They had died and they were so upset by this that they all unalived themselves and Zeus therefore turned them into constellation. Another version is that upset that their father Orion was compelled to carry the heavens for all of his life. The first, I suppose, physical artifact of the Seven Sisters, or this constellation however, comes from an old Germanic artifact. This is the artifact, the Nebra Sky Disc, from around 1600 BC. Now, stories associated with this Pleiades constellation seem to crop up in so many different cultural mythologies. We've got Irish and Welsh stories, Hawaiians, uh, Indigenous Australians, Maori and Persians. There are Hinduism traditions, Arabic traditions, Aztec and Japanese, and they're called Subaru in Japanese. Babylonian, Cherokee. Now, I would really love for someone to explain this to me because I live in the sphere and I know that we see the stars differently to how the stars can be seen in the Northern Hemisphere. Yet, there are so many different like cultural traditions that include this constellation. Maybe I just need to look harder for them down here, but someone explain to me how that's possible, that all of us can see this. They even come up in the Bible of times. 